Johnny D here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Asia Horse. Yeah, that's right, Asia Horse. They do CPU coolers. This is the CP200 CPU air cooler. Kind of cool. Let's check it out. I was on Amazon a few days back looking for a CPU air cooler when I came across this. The Asia Horse CP200 CPU air cooler. The Wandering Knight by Asia Horse. When I think about Asia Horse, the first thing that comes to mind is extension cables. Asia Horse has been an Amazon go to for extension cables for me for a while. They also do case fans. I've seen them on Amazon, but never really purchased any. What I didn't realize is that they do CPU coolers, both air coolers and they also have a liquid cooler. Who would have thought? So for $30 with a 5% promo discount, I thought to myself, why not? Let's give it a shot. Let's take a look at the Wandering Knight CPU air cooler. It comes in a very nice box, and when we open it, we see that it's well packaged and it comes with a few extras. It comes with mounting hardware and some thermal paste, and it also comes with a figure of the Wandering Knight and a few cards as well. It makes for a nice touch and a nice box opening experience. If we take a little closer look, it has four copper heat pipes, has a very nice sleek design to it, also comes with dual 120 millimeter fans for a push-pull combination. Also, one of the fans is a reverse blade fan, so the logo can be seen from the other side, which is a nice touch. The cooler has a total height of 157 millimeters and looks to have a very decent RAM clearance. It has a total TDP of 235 watts, with the fans reaching the max of 1,650 RPMs. So this should do nicely. So we're gonna it's gonna be cooling an i5 12600K. Okay, so I'll put the specs of the test rig up on the screen. I'll put them in the description below as well. And from here, we can jump into Cinebench and really stress the CPU out and see how this Asia Horse cooler performs. All right, so here we are. I got uh, Cinebench R23 up, and we're gonna give this a 10 minute stress test. I got hardware monitor over here on the side. Uh, so our temp package right now, we are at 32 degrees with a max of 45. Now I'm going to go ahead and start this 10 minute test. We're going to do a multi-core test and, uh, let's see what we got here. Now, surprisingly at almost four minutes in, we haven't gone over 71 degrees here. Uh, we've had a low of 29 and a high of 71, and we're averaging right around 69 right now. Uh, so, so far, this is a really good showing for this, this cooler. All right, so let me pull this up over here next to it because I'm recording the screen. You all get to see that. So, we're at... Oh, over five minutes in with about four minutes and 40 seconds left to go in the test. Um, we have a package value of 71 degrees Celsius, a minimum of 29, and it peaked at 71. The peak cores, uh, 70 and peaked at 71. Um, okay, the package peaked at 72, went up to 72 there. But regardless, five minutes in uh, on a full load on this CPU and we're getting 72 degrees Celsius. I mean, uh, that's a great showing for this uh, air cooler uh, with four copper heat pipes there. Um, it's doing a really good job. That's a synthetic test. So how does it do in gaming? So let's pull up a game and play it for like 20 minutes and, and see how we go do here. So. Okay, here we are in Cyberpunk. I've been playing for, I don't know, 15 minutes now. Uh, we're averaging about 66 degrees on the CPU. I've seen it peak up at 68. Uh, we got a total load on the CPU of 79 to 80%, which is great. So uh, definitely holding its own. Temperatures are great all around. Uh, so yeah. A really good showing here. I definitely do a good job when you're gaming. Okay, with the tests out of the way, I think it's time for us to uh, go to our, my final thoughts on this. So let's go over to final thoughts. 
Okay, final thoughts on the Wandering Night Asia Horse CP200 CPU air cooler. Well, I got to say, for me, it performed really well. Uh, I kept temperatures in check, especially in the Cinebench test. Uh, do keep in mind that uh, your mileage may vary depending on the CPU and your airflow and all that wonderful stuff. I mean, this was a 12600K. Um, but for me, it performed well, just as good as any other cooler that I've had in the 12600K. So, yeah, good job, Asia Horse. I really like it. Uh, I, I like the black design. Uh, it's very minimalistic, and it, it looks kind of sharp in the machine. So with that said, if you like what I'm doing, hit that like. And if you really like what I'm doing, you should subscribe so you get notified when I create new content. And with that said, you'll have a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye now.